Well, Michelle's mother lives in Florida, in the Florida Keys, and she is plagued by iguanas. Iguanas are a non-indigenous invasive species that prey on native plants as well as wildlife. Well, since Michelle's mother has iguana all over the place, I turn it into an iguana hunt every time we go down there. Well, you can legally shoot them with air rifles, so that is exactly what we do. We bring our Benjamin Marauder, even though the boys over the past few years have taken iguanas with the Bulldog 357, with the 17, the 22, and the 25 caliber Benjamins. But this time, it was Benjamin Marauder topped with a loophole scope, and we were resting it on a bog pod or whatever we could find to get a solid shooting platform. But this year, I was starting off with lead iguana shooter. When this iguana starts going across the dock, I put a little iguana lead on him and touched it off. When that Benjamin Marauder fired, I knew it was where it needed to be. Sure enough, the iguana flipped over and I had my first iguana. Nice. Got him. Now, a lot of people call iguanas tree chickens for a very good reason. They don't look tasty, but they actually are pretty dang good to eat. 25 caliber Benjamin Marauder. And look at how beautiful, if you can call an iguana beautiful, that iguana is. Well, Michelle was not to be outdone. She grabbed the bog bipod and had her mother guiding her on an iguana hunt. And I will give her mom a ton of credit. At 89 years old, she is the one that spotted the iguana that Michelle shot. Michelle's mother's done a lot of hunting with us, and so this clip of Michelle and her mother is very special to us and our family because shortly after this, Michelle's mother had a stroke. She's still with us, and she's always been an avid hunter, and she's still out there even though she's had a stroke. She had spotted in the yard, and they're really destructive, right? They make holes, terrible, in, your, terrible. holes yeah. in, your, in your yard and eat all the flowering plants, yeah. so uh, it's always good to grab the Benjamin, do a little iguana, control and uh, you actually do that all the time right yes ma'am yep she yes, uh, she's a she's a hunter <laughs> so we got her done iguanas are crazy creatures they can even change colors to match the environment they're in the other crazy thing is they can get up to six feet long unfortunately since they are non-indigenous and an invasive species they eat a lot of native not only plants but also right, wildlife on, so right. we're trying to get rid of the iguanas and so is the game commission. Oh, you hit him. That's how you kill an iguana right there. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up taking a huge iguana that was a little over five feet. That is one big lizard. And of course, not only did I have to eat it, but I had to skin it out for a super unique trophy. Rug mount iguana. Maybe not one you want to lay on at night, but still pretty cool.